Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Today is the start of season 13, as you guys can see. Uh, we haven't played a game yet, this is the first day of season 13. Gallade now has been banned, if I'm correct. Um, maybe if I open up the Pokedex. But I don't, I believe we cannot use Gallade anymore. Yeah, he's in the Uber's tier. So, I wanted to try out Medicham because uh, Medicham now has access to close combat. Um, so, this is basically the Glade team we used in the past. Um, I replaced it with Medicham and I want to see how well Medicham will do on this kind of team, uh, fulfilling the same role. If you guys are interested in the team, you can check it out on Patreon. There's a poker paste plus team building video on this team. Um, yeah, let's uh, see how this goes, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. And let's see how this battle goes. So we're facing against this rain team. Uh, Medicham with close combat can obliterate this guy. I'm going to be a bit careful about the uh, uh, Toxic Rock, maybe. Uh, I do have Jalicent in the back. Kabutop is always a threat. Uh, but I think killing, killing the, um, uh, the Pelipper gonna be the main concern but if we get up rocks um we can pressure him a lot so that's kind of what i'm going for um so i'm gonna start off with my garcho trying to get up my rocks he should probably lead off with pelipper um i'm not certain if he's gonna run the ice beam i mean if he is fair play to him but i'll get to see if he's scarfed as well uh because that's usually that's the only way i can outspeed me and if he's scarfed i can maybe pursue them with weave all that kind of those kind of things but he hard swaps here into the size method. So I get off my rocks, which is amazing. And I'm just gonna earthquake into him. As I shouldn't die to weather ball from here. Uh, these guys typically don't run any ice type attacks aside from ice punch. Um but I think this is a fair trade because he's live warped. I get off my earthquake damage on him. And I can still use this guy to pressure him. So what I'm going to do here is, um, he's physical too, so that's quite interesting. Ice punch, he could be power whip, that's the thing, I don't want to expose my jealousy to it. Um, he's not going to be into rocks range, he can easily get him up later. I want to keep HP on my scissor as a check to Kabutops. I'm not sure if he wants to go for the power whip, but I should. I think the, um, the jealousy should be able to live one. So um, I just need to live it because we're playing around his HP here. And now I'm gonna bring in the scissor. He should waterfall me uh, if anything, but um, he goes for rocks, which is okay. Both. Of my mons are still gonna live but if my opponent wants to defog for his pelipper gonna be that i'm just gonna bullet punch, bullet punch into him it's okay if scissor comes in 21 remember uh, this is one of his um, psycho cut resists so if he ever dies it's gonna be helpful i'm just gonna bullet punch again because he has to close combat me and um, to do any significant damage to me um now his scissor is low, he's he's not gonna switch into my Weavel. King's Rack comes in. And yeah, I have to lose a Mon here, unfortunately. Um, the way to go about this is... Um, maybe I shouldn't have let Jellison get this low down. For the King's Rack. Uh, so perhaps I should have just stayed against the Seismic Toad. Maybe that was the better play. But I got him low, that's the thing. Um, he can get up one more attack against me um like i said i do want to keep this guy but i think my jealousy has an opportunity to heal against uh, for example developer so i have to create that kind of situation i'm gonna sack off my guard jump i think the misplay i made i should have just stayed against the size method um knowing his knowing he has that certain attack but uh, now we're gonna be at the last turn of the rain, so we're gonna bring in the Mandy Buzz. And I'm just gonna roost there. 
Mr. The rain should be ending on this turn. My rocker is gone, which is unfortunate. But now that the rain, now that his rain is gone, um, <clears throat> I'll be able to go for. It's gonna U turn here. I don't know if he wants to surf again. Um, if he does, I'm getting in my Medicham. I have a rocks up. This guy does come in now. And this is the situation I wanted to create because I get off my U-turn. Now I get in my Jealous and then get off my Recover. Because I need to heal him up to check Kingdra. To check um, to check Toxicroak. And assuming I'm faster than him. Because he, if he was faster than my Garchomp, he would have U-turned on me. I'll get off my Recover. I don't know if he wants to go for the Defog. It's going to help me too. Um, he clicks Hurricane. Don't confuse me. Because Jealous should be fine. Nice. And we're just going to keep this going. So he got Rain up on, at turn 10. So at turn 18 is when it will end. He decides to U-turn now. But I got Jealous and healthy. And against this whole team, it's pretty decent. So <clears throat> basically, because I, I wouldn't die to Kingdra. Seismic Toad comes in here. And yeah, I would have liked to keep uh, the um, the Garchomp for, di for this situation. And, but this ended up being a physical... Um, uh, whatever, bro. This guy keeps predicting. I, I think I should have clicked Recover, to be honest, actually. Um, judging from how much this power whip did last time. Yeah, I think I misplayed there. I think I misplayed. But... I get in this guy. I don't have any priority. However, what I could do is... Um, go back into this guy. As power whip will be an unlikely move for just me. I I've been playing horrible against the Seismic Toad, to be honest. I should have kept my guard jump in and I should have recovered with the Jellicent. But I, I'm still healthy enough to live any attack aside from the Draco Meteor, perhaps. Which I don't have a switch for anymore. However, King Jar will come in under... under a... He has to click the Draco on me. So I'm going to use this as a one-time uh, thing here. Because... As long as I keep Jealous and healthy, I should be able to somewhat deal against him. So and at this current HP, I should be able to live Draco, as he, had to, as he is at minus one, basically. But it should be enough. He misses. And we're just going to go for the Will-O-Wisp from here. He's at minus one. Whatever he brings in on me doesn't really matter. Doesn't he does, There's nothing that likes to come in on me. Um, like I said, uh, Seismito was basically the only one that could really harm me, aside from the Kabutops, of course. Scissor comes in there, but that's fine. Um, I should have, I could have killed him with Skull too. But with him being burnt, um, we should be pretty good. I can just Skull there, knock him out. Because I should be Toxic Croak 1v1 as long as he doesn't run Thunder Punch. But then I'm gonna burn him. Um Caliper comes in again. And we're just gonna keep him low. So I'm gonna taunt him here. The reason is my whole team can literally kill him. Uh but as long as I don't allow him to roost. And now I can just click Scald. It's Scald in the rain. Um, but that's it's gonna help me beat this Pelipper. Uh, like I said, Jellicent should technically 1v6 his team. Um, Seismic so being physical, having the power whip was a bit of a setback. And I should have played differently around it, but um, 
Toxic Crow comes in now. Maybe I should have clicked the Wisp, to be honest. Uh, but the only way I can see this beating me is if he has Taunt or Substitute. If he has, I'm just going to forfeit. But it's it's very unlikely. Kingsra comes back in. Uh, that was I feel like that was really unnecessary. Unfortunately, I missed a Wisp on this. Ooh, that's... Uh, gonna recover on this as he clicks Pulse. Okay, so I shouldn't get to it killed by Pulse. With the leftovers. But he basically essentially wasted a rain turn. It's really annoying though that he... Um... Oh, crap. I, I need him to get a low roll now. Okay. See, that it's really unfortunate. I should have kept recovering. I'm really playing, really playing poorly here. Um, I'm really playing poorly. Did he reset the rain, by the way? How did he get a 60 roll now? It's crazy. I should have kept recovering till he got cursed body. Um, this sucks. <sighs> this is really bad, man. That burn was annoying because I would have kept recovering otherwise. But, um,. It is what it is. And the psycho cut into him here. Wait, what? Damn, I would have. Uh... Damn. Maybe I should have just CC'd into him then. That's bad. I need him to miss Stone Edge. That's the only way then. I think that's the only way. At least the rain stopped. That's a bit ba bad on my part. I need him to miss Hatch here. Come on. Nope. Um, yeah. I misplayed it on the on the King Drat. <laughs> I, I really played bad in this game. Uh, like, I, like I mentioned, I played really bad around the side though. It was fine. But then missing the Will-O-Wisp on the King's Drat was a bit annoying. Because I would have kept recovering there till he got cursed body, essentially. Because that would have happened. And if, if I kept recovering, if I kept recovering on his Dragon Pulse, um, the burn would have helped me. The rain would have been over. I, like, I could have made some plays there. But I didn't think he would go hard Kabutops there. That was uh, kind of interesting. Because if I close commented there, Well, I guess it makes sense, um, because I, I close combat there, and then he gets the rain up again. Now, actually, actually, I, if, if I close, I should, I think I should have close combat it there. Um, the reason is if I close Kabutops died, and then I still had one more turn of rain, but I wasn't counting the rain turn, so it was really bad on my part. Uh, I really played that game poorly, um, so. Like I said, against the, against the Seismic Toad, I should have just let my card stay in. Uh, he was physical. He could have weatherballed me. It was, was fine too. But I should have kept him in right there. <clears throat> Seeing at how low he was. And then I could have picked him up with Weavile or with Scizor. Uh, going for the attack. But then I would have had my Jalicent at full HP. Um, yeah, not sure. Anyway, let's uh, wait for the next one. Okay, let's focus on this one, guys. <clears throat> Played a bit poorly in the last game, uh, but let's see if we uh, can do better now. Alakazam, okay. Okay, so there's, there's no Psychic Resist. Yeah, Alakazam is the Psychic Resist, but he's still going to get blown back by the Psycho Cut, so we keep that one in mind. Um, I'm going to start off with my Garchomp, uh, as it literally clicks Toxic on his whole team. <laughs> Would be funny if he brings in Alakazam and the Toxic and I get synchronized <laughs> um gotta keep volcarona in mind though definitely gotta keep him in mind 
Um, but he leads up with the Rudum. I'm gonna Toxic here. Um, if he just because if he if he clicks trick on me, as long as I connect the Toxic, I will be, always be able to keep up rocks versus him. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> as long as we hit the Toxic, right? Still clicking it. Uh, there's no down. There's no downside there. Uh, missing Wisp on the other game also kind of cost me. Really disappointing. I'm gonna bring him many bus now. I could I could get up rocks, but I'm just gonna assume he's just gonna keep hydroing. Um he doesn't have anything better to do there. However, I will now go back since the poison damage is wrecking up. I will now go back into the guard jump. I live one hydro pump, so it's not the biggest deal. But ideally he tries to volt switch or something like Thunderbolt. <laughs> and now I can now I can get up my rocks with the pressure, because it pressures him to defog on me as well, which uh, might come come into play later, but yeah, stealth rocking here. He might over predict something, but I get up my rocks, which is great. Because I need to pressure that Volcarona, uh, but like I mentioned, um, Psycho Cut is going to be extremely strong for my opponent. That's something we're going to look for, and. I'm not sure how much I do against the Serp. He clicks that move, and honestly, um, I'm just calling here. Even if he goes Serp, I always have a free swap into Mandy Buzz. If he U turns, maybe I burn this. Um, I don't know. If he, used, he used Fake Out, so I don't think he has Knockoff. Um, if I if he brings in Rodom, um, I get some free chip on him. Maybe I should have taunted. Maybe that could have been a play so that he cannot go for Rodom and um, Defog for free. But we'll just have to see. I guess that Rodom used Will-O-Wisp. If he has Defog too, that means he has no he has no rocks on his team either. <laughs> but that means he has no Pain Split. Uh, meaning that all the damage I get on him is going to be permanent. And he does end up going into Superior. Uh, maybe I get a burn on him, you know. Still a bit of chip. We're fishing, we're fishing here. No burn, no uh, no leftovers, so that's interesting. But like I said, I always have to free swap into the Mandy Buzz. He tries to go for Leaf Storm. He's life warped, okay. So I U turn here, and then I can lock myself into Psycho Cut uh, with my Medicham. I cannot miss the move. Rodom cannot come in on me. Dragon Pulse is me now. Because I don't think this is an issue if he's using Life Orb. So we're getting in the Medicham now. Medicham. And we're just Psycho Cutting here. We're, psychic, we're Psycho Cutting our way through. Like I, like I mentioned, his resist is literally non-existent. And he goes into Alakazam, which is still going to take a lot of damage from this. So, and unless he's Scarfed. This is this is his only resist, by the way. A goodbye. This means he can go into his Rotom now, which is a bit annoying, of course. Actually, goes full Corona. Why? Why are you going Volk? I just revealed that I was Choice Scarf, brother. Okay, cool. GG. <clears throat> now I can play really preservative with my Manicham, and Manicham is just going to destroy him. So that's pretty cool. Um, he revealed to me he was... Um, he can fake me out, but what is he going to do now? This is uh, quite interesting, man. Because <laughs> the fair is going to die to me, so only if Chandelier is Scarfed. He just brings everything in I can kill. That's so funny. Because I cannot miss this move. <clears throat> Finally decides to bring in the Rotom. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to Psycho Cut again. 
I don't think I need to unnecessarily predict there. If he clicks Hydra on me, that did a lot. That did a lot, bro. I think that's like an offensive Rotom. <laughs> my Psycho Cat did nothing, so I, I was sure maybe... I guess Medicham is just well, way too frail. But yeah, I get rid of that. I literally just killed five of his mons. It's uh, quite funny. A Chandelier comes in. If he's not Scarfed, then Weavile will seal the deal. If he's Scarfed, I have two resistances to his main stab moves. So... Um, Show me what you got, man. Show me what you got. <laughs> I'm really sad about the first game, though. Um, like, I really played poor into that. He is Scarfed. So the funny thing here is I can just go into my Weavile and just click Night Slash. I can also go... This is Scissor. <laughs> He's Scarfed. He could have done this way sooner. Just brought in the chandelier and then um <laughs> he could have just brought in the chandelier right and um avoided his whole team dying to my <laughs> i'm gonna end it up at this one though thank you for watching um leave a comment down below I'm sorry guys i really played bad in the first game um like i know uh, I already mentioned um but uh yeah um Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace out.